Hi everyone, today we will discuss about the case of Tesla, this case discusses how Tesla found itself lagging behind in some key global markets, as its rivals raced ahead with new affordable electric vehicle models. Tesla's global market share fell to 11% in April 2021 from 29% in March 2021, as it lost ground in China, Europe, and the US, where its dominance had been eroded by new competition and price hikes. The case highlights the key challenges faced by Tesla including growing competition. Now, before moving to this video, I would like to make a small request to you, if you like this content, please like this video and share your views in the comment, it would indicate to me that I should continue to make more such kind of videos, and at the same time your feedback will help me to improve the quality of the content. Also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, in order to get unlimited free access to my case study videos archive. Moreover, I have given some case study links and study materials in the description of this video. With that being said, let me take you into the detailed view of this case study. Under the leadership of Elon Musk, Tesla propelled electric vehicles into the mainstream, and disrupted the global automotive industry through innovations in the design and development process, and through product differentiation. Tesla emerged as a dominant player in the global EV space, due to its efficiency in battery management and the charging network. Tesla benefited from the long-time reluctance of traditional automakers who did not embrace the EVs. Today, Tesla is the most valuable car company in the world, Tesla's technology is so good such that even other car companies rely on it. Say for example, Daimler uses Tesla's battery packs. Mercedes-Benz uses a Tesla's powertrain. Toyota uses a Tesla motor. General Motors has even created a task force to track Tesla's next moves. The company is so far ahead of the competition when it comes to R&D, technology and innovation, such that it's hard to even talk about them in the same category. Tesla has always put a huge emphasis on product development and technological advancement. It has whole teams dedicated to R&D, and they also invests regularly to ensure it is at the top of its game. Competition has begun to heat up in the global EV sector since 2019, due to the steep rise in demand for EVs, which in turn was driven by the need for fuel-efficient, high-performance, and low-emission vehicles and stringent government rules and regulations for governing vehicle emissions. Tesla faced competition not only from traditional automakers such as Ford, Volkswagen, and GM but also from China-based startup companies who were trying to compete with it in terms of price, availability, and features. In the US, Ford Motor's electric sport utility vehicle, the Mustang Mach-E, had begun eating into Tesla's market share, while in Europe, the world's largest electric car market, Volkswagen beat Tesla, to become the top-selling electric vehicle maker in 2020. In China, Tesla faced intense competition as several local players flooded the EV space with affordably priced, high-performance EVs. Though Tesla was a leader in the EV space with an 18% market share in the global EV market as of October 2020, it is slowly losing its ground. Tesla's share of the U.S. electric vehicle market is shrinking as rivals gain momentum. Tesla is the biggest electric vehicle powerhouse in the U.S. by far, but rivals are starting to eat away its market share as appetite for electric cars increases. The Silicon Valley automaker's share of the overall U.S. EV market fell from 79.5% through the second quarter of 2020, to 66.3% for the same period in 2021, Audi's share of EV registrations grew to 3.3%, Ford's grew to 5.2%, and Chevrolet's increased 1.3% to hit 9.6%, Nissan's share rose to 3.9%. Other traditional luxury players, such as Porsche, have begun adding electric cars to their lineups as well. 
BMW is in the midst of an EV push, although it's not targeting the 400 miles of range or more, but they also directly challenges Tesla. Even Lexus, which has resisted battery electric vehicles, plans to launch one in 2022. Meanwhile, Lucid and Rivian recently started deliveries of the Air Sedan and R1T pickup truck, respectively. They'll be the first real test of whether another startup can replicate Tesla's success, and compete with legacy automakers. Tesla may be losing market share, but its sales and the EV space are broadly growing dramatically. Tesla sold some 386,000 vehicles during the first half of 2021, more than double the number it sold during that period in 2020. In the latest European EV rankings, Renault Zoe held onto the top spot, closely followed by the Volkswagen's ID3, and Hyundai's Kona was third ahead of the Tesla Model 3. According to sales figures from plug-in vehicle market database EV volumes, Tesla has been seeding ground in Europe, with its Model 3, which has now become the fourth best-selling pure electric vehicle on the continent. The European EV market is now the biggest in the world in terms of sales, following a surge in 2020 accompanying a slump in China. The portion of new car registrations that are electric is twice that of China, and five times that of the United States. Plug-in vehicles now account for around 10% of overall market share in Europe, with pure EVs representing around 5.4%. While this should worry Tesla shareholders, it is even more striking that the Model S and X are not in the top 20 ranking despite direct competing models such as Audi e-tron being on the list. Tesla's road in China appeared to be paved with gold, after founder Elon Musk was granted rare permission to build a wholly owned factory in Shanghai that has allowed it to accelerate to the head of the pack in China's huge electric car market. The company is hugely popular in China, where it sells one out of every four of its cars. The firm also announced that it would be setting up a data center in China, following user backlash over fears that their data could be passed over to the US. But, Tesla's recent run of bad publicity in China is apparently hurting its sales. Tesla seems to be experiencing a changing tide in China, where Tesla recalls one in every four Model Y it has made in the first 10 months of the year to fix faulty steering. The US carmaker had to fix defective cruise control functions through over-the-air software updates in 285,000 cars in June 2021. Moreover, Tesla relies on machine learning and data from its vehicles to improve its self-driving software. In the US, the government likely wouldn't be too pleased if a Chinese automaker was collecting data on American drivers. China similarly probably doesn't want a US automaker controlling the market there. Now, the government has stepped up scrutiny of Tesla. Tesla's China problems may grow if EVs are seen as a national security threat. Some of the biggest challenges that Tesla could face going forward were beating competition, retaining market share, and maintaining profitability. Some analysts speculated a potential slowdown in the demand for EVs amid significant headwinds facing the global economy due to COVID-19. Investors continued to express concern over the company's margins and its financial stability. Other challenges include cash burnout due to heavy investments in technology and production facilities, launching affordable EV models, phasing out of the federal tax credit on EVs and maintaining profitability. Thank you so much for listening to this video, I hope this video might be informative for you. If you find this video useful, I would request you to like this video, and please do share your feedback regarding this video in the comment. It would mean a lot to me. Last but not the least, as mentioned earlier do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos. You can also write in the comment, if you would like me to make videos regarding any specific case studies that you have in your mind.
Meanwhile, you can also have a check on my 5 minutes learning YouTube channel for getting access to hundreds of case study videos. Thanks a lot again, see you soon with another interesting case study video.